EWG has a long interest in the safety of seafood consumption, especially um, during pregnancy. The FDA and EPA have recommended that all women eat two or three meals of seafood a week throughout their pregnancies, and EWG is really concerned that some women would get too much mercury in their diet if they're not choosing the safest and healthiest species. We enrolled 254 women who eat two or three meals of seafood, fish or shellfish, every week. We tested the amount of mercury in their hair, which indicates how much mercury has been in their body. And we found that nearly 30% had too much mercury in their bodies, according to the EPA guideline for what's safe during pregnancy. Although I eat a fair amount of fish, I didn't think I was eating a lot of fish that was high in mercury. I knew that swordfish and tuna were, and I am a somewhat frequent sushi eater, but in very small portions. So I didn't realize that my tuna consumption in particular could have elevated my levels that high. In addition to being surprised about the levels, I thought, okay, well, this is really good to have this piece of information. It's not the kind of information you get at your annual checkup with a doctor, you know? And so it was really helpful to feel more informed. When looking for fish, I just look for it to be high in omega fatty acids and low in mercury. And luckily, due to the seafood guide that EWG puts out, it's very easy to just have a quick check in your wallet and say like, okay, this fish, you know, I want to avoid this, or, or this fish I want to intentionally choose, or maybe these few seafood items are innocuous, they don't, you know, have great nutritional value, but at least they're not high in mercury. When you eat seafood during pregnancy, then Essentially, you get the benefits from omega-3s, and then if there's mercury, it's the other direction. You, you have a risk of toxicity. If you get a little bit of mercury, it can be compensated by the omega-3s. On the other hand, then that means you don't get the full benefit. The only safe and appropriate mercury exposure is close to zero. I think the time is due for the EPA to lower their limit, it would be appropriate to say, let's keep uh, mercury exposures at a lower level uh, to make sure that everybody is safe.